friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Monday. It's Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three fantastic recipes for you. Breakfast, lunch, and dessert, you're not gonna wanna miss them. So if you're excited for this week's meal prep, give this video a big huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and definitely helps out my channel. Also, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you hit the little subscribe button and go ahead and ring the bell next to it. That way you never miss a single video, including meal prep every single Monday. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I am a weight loss and nutrition coach, so I do offer several services. One of them is personalized to you macros and calories, so you know where you should fall every day to be most successful. Whether you're on WW or not, you have to know calories in, calories out to lose weight. I also offer one-on-one -on -one sessions in both 30 and 60 minutes. If you're looking for a little bit more individualized support, let me help you set up a game plan to be successful. So check both of those out on my nutrition coaching website. Links, discount codes to everything I shared with you in today's video and all of my other favorite things as well as my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there. We're doing a super fun challenge starting May 1st. So definitely head on over and join that community. We'd love to have you. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's WW meal prep. For breakfast this week, I am making a flat bread breakfast pizza. My plan is to pre-cook some of the components of the pizza and then actually put it together every day, but we will put one full pizza together so you can see what the final product looks like. So for the recipe, you're going to need some fully cooked bacon. You could also use center cut bacon and cook it yourself. This just makes it a little bit easier. You're also going to need some eggs. Turkey sausage, I'm just using the Genio Italian style turkey sausage. I'm using the flat out wrap. You could use cut the carb, you could use Joseph's lavash, you could even use an Olay wrap, whatever your preference is. I'm going to use the flat out light Italian herb, laughing cow cheese, egg whites, salt, and pepper. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and cook up the entire pound of ground turkey and then we'll just weigh it out per pizza. Each pizza is going to have one full egg and one quarter cup of egg whites. So I'm going to go ahead and scramble up four whole eggs and one full cup of egg whites. So I'm going to go ahead and crack my four eggs and my one cup of egg whites, season it with a little salt and pepper and about a quarter cup of almond milk. You look at that. I said, my friend, what you're looking at? I think she is something for me. The turkey sausage is cooking. It is awfully greasy, so I'm definitely going to make sure that I drain that really well. And then I just have my eggs scrambling up over here. So we'll get these cooked up before we start assembling the actual pizza. The best thing to do with pre-cooked bacon is go ahead and pop it in your microwave before serving to crisp it up again. So I'm going to do that with a couple of pieces for the pizza we're going to make today. And then each morning, I'll just pop a couple more in the microwave, get them nice and crispy, and add them to my pizza. So I went ahead and pulled out just a quarter sheet pan, put my flat out or whatever tortilla you're using for your pizza. Go ahead and put that on the pan. Here is the cooked up turkey sausage, drained really well. Here are all of my eggs. I did go ahead and put these into storage containers so that I can make up my pizza for the rest of the week. I also have a laughing cow cheese wedge and two slices of just reheated nice and crispy bacon. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead, open up your laughing cow cheese wedge and spread that evenly over the entire flatbread. We're then going to put our eggs on. So we want our eggs even across the flatbread. I will let you know too that I did not cook my eggs all the way through because they will cook even a little bit more in the oven. So we want about one full egg and a quarter cup of egg whites spread out evenly over the flatbread. And then on my food scale, I'm going to weigh out one ounce of the cooked turkey sausage. And then I'm going to just spread that evenly over the top of the eggs. Make sure it's nice and cooled, of course, before you go in and sprinkle it over the eggs. 
And then I'm going to crumble up my two pieces of bacon right on top. I think I'm going to garnish my pizza with just a tiny little bit of parsley just to add that pretty green. And then this is going into a 350 degree preheated oven until it's warmed completely through. Everything is pre-cooked, but we want to make sure that our flatbread gets a little bit crispy and that cheese gets nice and melted. So with my leftover eggs, I went ahead and put them in a storage container, pop the lid on that. I will link these containers down in the description box. These are so cute. I got them off of Amazon. They're glass with a really pretty wood lid and then I just have a lid for the sausage so I'm just going to pop these in my refrigerator and again every morning I'll just assemble the pizza pop it in the oven or you could even do it in your air fryer to warm it up so as soon as the pizza gets out of the oven I'll show you guys what the completed breakfast pizza looks like and give you the points and calories the breakfast pizzas out of the oven oh my gosh this smells so good. You can see that that laughing cow is nice and melty. This is a huge breakfast pizza. The way that I prepared it using the flat out, the sausage I used, the bacon, everything, it works out to be six smart points for the entire pizza on blue and purple, seven on green, just because you do have to count for the egg and 340 calories. So not bad. You could eat this all by itself because it's quite a good sized breakfast. Pair it with some fruit, Looks amazing. Can't wait to have this all week. For lunch this week, I'm making a broccoli cashew crunch salad. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to pair this with. It will be some type of protein. I'll pop you guys into my freezer and show you what I have on hand, kind of what I'm thinking, but I'm really excited for this as it's getting nice around here. The weather is changing and a fresh, delicious, cold salad sounds so good. So for this recipe, you're going to need an entire pound of broccoli. This is only a 12 ounce bag, so I'm going to end up using about one and a half bags. Whole carrots, a shallot, a red bell pepper, cashews, honey, apple cider vinegar, light mayonnaise, crushed red pepper chili flakes, and some reduced sugar cranberries. So let's make a broccoli salad. The first thing I'm going to do is slice up my red bell pepper, my shallot nice and thin, and peel and cut my carrot. This knife pack, again, is the one I showed in last week's meal prep from Anthropology. It comes with three knives. They're gorgeous. I'll make sure I link them down below for you. Excuse me, miss. salad together. It's super easy. I added my one pound of broccoli to a bowl. I did kind of break up the florets as I popped them into the bowl only because some of them were quite large. So we're going to add one teaspoon of honey, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. I wanted to show you guys my spoon set. These are so cute. These are also from Anthropology, So I'll link these down below for you guys as well. They're just so fun. It always makes cooking more fun when you have cute utensils. I have one half of a cup of cashews here. I'm just lightly going to chop those before I pop them here into the salad, just so they go a little bit further. But it was one half cup of whole cashews and then rough chop and toss them in. So I've added in all of the roughly chopped cashews. Now we're going to put in one quarter cup of reduced sugar craisins. I'm going to do just the tiniest pinch of the red pepper chili flakes because I don't want it too spicy. One quarter cup light mayo and then all of the chopped up bell pepper, carrots, and the thinly sliced shallot and then stir really well. You wanna make sure that that little bit of mayo, it's a quarter of a cup, so it's not a lot. You just wanna make sure that that gets coated on all of the pieces of broccoli and the veggies. So here's our broccoli salad. This looks so good. I will caution you that most of the good stuff, the craisins, the cashews, all the veggies kind of fall to the bottom. So before you give yourself a serving, just make sure that you shake it up or stir it up really, really well. Sorry for the darker light. There's not very good light here where this fridge is, but you can see that I have just a ton of the Kid Fresh nuggets. I also have the Kid Fresh meatballs. So I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pair my broccoli salad with either some nuggets or some meatballs for some added protein. 
But for the beautiful broccoli salad by itself, which by the way, smells really good. It's very colorful, summery, I love it. The salad itself makes six servings, so it's quite a large serving of the salad. It is only four points on all plans and 142 calories. So you can get in your vegetables, get in some healthy fats with those cashews, and then pair this with a protein for a really good, fresh, springy, summery lunch. it this week I'm making glazed grapefruit bunt cake. Can you tell I'm ready for spring or summer? This is going to be a very fresh, delicious, low point you guys, low calorie cake. So for the recipe you're going to need some eggs, whole milk, baking powder, vanilla extract, a medium to large sized grapefruit, powdered sugar alternative. This is the Lakanto powdered. It's my very favorite powdered sugar alternative. I do have a discount for Lakanto, so I'll make sure it's linked down below for you. This is the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Again, my very, very favorite. You can also pick that up on the Lakanto website all-purpose flour, and some salt. We're also going to need some unsweetened applesauce, three quarters of a cup. The first thing I'm going to do is zest my grapefruit and also juice it. You're going to need the juice from the entire grapefruit and the zest. So the first thing that we're going to do in a large bowl is put two cups of all-purpose flour, one and three quarter teaspoons baking powder, about a teaspoon of salt, I'm just going to Plop that in, give this a good stir, and this is your dry ingredients. In another bowl, much smaller this time, we're going to put in our monk fruit sweetener and all of the zest from our grapefruit. And with your hands, you're just gonna go in and rub that together. You wanna make sure that the grapefruit zest and the sugar gets mixed really well. This is what's going to also kind of flavor that sugar from that zest. So here is what that mixture looks like. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop in two eggs. And we're going to mix this with a handheld mixer until creamy. So I went ahead and did that for about two to three minutes. I want it to look kind of milky and creamy. Now we're going to add in the three quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce. This is in place of any oil. One cup of whole milk and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're going to beat that in to the egg mixture. We're going to add the wet mixture to the dry mixture, and then we're going to beat that again until fully combined. To a very well greased with nonstick cooking spray bump pan, we're going to add in the batter. All right, our cake's going in the oven, 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. Our goal is to make sure we can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. Our cake is out of the oven. I'm going to just set this aside to cool. We're going to make a grapefruit syrup as well as a glaze. For the syrup, it's very simple. We're going to go ahead and add in the juice from the grapefruit as well as one third cup of the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. We're going to put this on the stove for two to three minutes just so that sugar can dissolve. I did go ahead and remove about a tablespoon of the grapefruit syrup for the glaze. So our bunk cake has been cooling for about 10 minutes or so. So I'm just going to take a fork and I'm just going to punch some holes all over the top of the cake and that will allow the syrup we made to soak in. And then you're going to take that syrup and just pour it right over the top. I went ahead and removed the cake from the bump pan. It came out perfect. It is so moist from adding that syrup. So we're going to let this finish cooling completely before we make the glaze. While the bunt cake is cooling, we're going to make the glaze. So I have one cup of the Lakanto powdered, and then I had reserved that about a tablespoon of that syrup. So I'm going to add it in little by little until I have the perfect glaze consistency. So I am going to have to also add in just a little bit of water. All right, let's glaze it up. So I'm just going to use my spoon and just kind of drizzle that grapefruit glaze right over the top. This looks absolutely incredible. So it is glaze. The syrup has been added. This cake makes 12 pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up and I'll be back to show you serving size, give you points and calories, 
you're not gonna believe it. So I cut it into 12 servings. You can see how large the serving is. And I went ahead and plated up one slice of the glazed grapefruit bundt cake. You guys, it's two points on both blue and purple for one piece and only three points on the green plan just because there are eggs in here. 104 calories for a piece of cake. So highly recommend. This would be great for get togethers, barbecues, really any event, or even just for your family for a low point, low calorie dessert. Thank you for joining me on this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. You can find all three recipes on my website, which is linked at the top of the description box. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the little bell next to it so you don't miss another meal prep or another video for that matter. Check out that description box for the nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come join us for May's challenge. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Monday. Have a beautiful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.